An exciting new discovery found buried beneath a San Diego neighborhood. The images of the long extinct saber tooth cats have been capturing children's imaginations for decades. And new at 5, ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky shows how the discovery of new saber tooth species is shedding light on what San Diego was like in the past. When you walk into the San Diego Natural History Museum, there's plenty to catch your eye, especially the cool skeletons of animals that went extinct long ago. To Dr. Ashley Poust, the museum is also his office, carefully studying all those old fossils. And peel back some of what we see in San Diego to understand how we got here, that was really fascinating to me. And of course the awesome, cute and charismatic and or scary meat eaters are a really fun part of that. Poust has always been interested in San Diego's ancient carnivores. With nowhere to go during COVID, he started investigating fossils that had been dug up around San Diego over the years and sent to the museum, but never identified. Working with partners around the world, he started solving those mysteries. So the coolest thing for today is the actual original specimen of Panger Man. That's the name for the second new saber tooth discovered in the last year. The first was called Diego Loris, or San Diego's cat. Panger Man was found during a construction project in Scripps Ranch in 1997 a piece of cheekbone and tooth. So even though this seems like a small piece, it's a very important piece. In mammals, teeth are like our identity chip. The details scientists can get from this one small piece can help answer big questions about what San Diego was like 30 million years ago when it was wetlands and lush plains instead of desert. And those answers can give important clues about San Diego in the present and future. It's important for us to understand how Animals change and evolve during periods where the climate or where the land surface are changing drastically. That might sound familiar to some viewers. Pau says there are numerous discoveries yet to come, all from tiny bones found buried underneath San Diego. In Balboa Park, Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. Paleontologists work on construction sites across the county to help preserve what gets dug up. Pau says there have already been several discoveries found during the current project to build a new border crossing in Otay Mesa.